I'm Michelle LeVan uh, with another Saturday of Encounters a la Prima and I'm here today with Patty Bigley and uh, she used to be known as Patty Hutchins and I am going to paint her portrait while she tells me her story. I remember lots of things about North Topeka. Um, there was a merchant policeman by the name of Pop Stamp who walked these streets at night and seen to it that everybody was okay and the businesses were uh, protected. I uh, lived on Paramore Street and when I would get off work he would walk me to Gordon past the taverns and then I would go on and walk home. It would be about after 10 or 10.30 at night. He, uh, he and I became friends. He was an older man and uh, he did uh, uh, sh shoot one person that was trying to uh, get in one of the buildings to the south of us. I don't th he did not kill him, but he, he, uh, he was very good at what he did and he was a nice man. When I got married, he uh, bought me some linens for a wedding present. So uh, you were close. close yes, we good, were. Good yes, friends. we were. Uh huh. And it kept you safe? Yes, I really felt safe with, uh, around him, yes. There were several uh, private clubs in North Topeka before liquor was available. And I, uh, later on in years, I worked at uh, a couple of them. Um, once on the north side of the river, at one time, there were 17 private clubs. And where did you, where did you work? You worked at the bank? I worked at the bank. Mm -hmm. I worked at the Princess Theater as a cashier, and later on I worked in a private club in North Topeka called the Northside Club as a bartender. Now what was it like to work in a private club back then? No, no, was well, you had to... Liquor uh, legal? Oh, no. Uh -uh. No. Okay. So... What, what they did was, uh, well, I guess they would call them speakeasies. What they did was uh, they would bring their own bottle, uh -huh. and uh, we would sell the pop. To mix the drinks in. Mix the drinks in, yes, yes. And a lot of, lot, lots and lots of people from South Topeka came over here to drink. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, uh, what was it like, uh, what was your job? What is it that you As did? a bartender. You were a bartender? I've been, I was a bartender for 32 years, and I owned my own for, for about 18 years, but not in North Topeka. So, well, the, the club was in North Topeka, yes, the Showboat Lounge. Uh, and I sold that in 1984. Okay, so technically, you were uh, a pop vendor. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. You had to have a, a, a card and be known to get in. Oh, then was there in a 19, knock? huh? Was there a secret knock? No. 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 You just had to get in. You had to to know. Uh, Somebody who knew somebody. Right. Well, so you had to be with a member to get in. And they had, uh, the, the bottles were uh, numbered to your your card number. And then we mixed, we mixed the drink with their alcohol and our pop. Oh, I see. So you had to register your bottle when you came in so you knew whose bottle was what. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And then that went into the bar. Uh-huh. And then you knew for as a bartender whose drink Absolutely. was what. Absolutely, you had to know the person, yes. Well, that's a lot of uh, a lot of work back then. No, oh, I had a good now. I had a good memory. Yeah. I had a, a very good memory. Uh, not so much anymore, but uh, there was a liquor store across the uh, street from that club, and uh, the owner was Aggie Meyer. And the day that the Kansas Avenue Bridge fell in, I was working, and I went over to get the house bottle, mm -hmm. and Mrs. Meyer told me that the bridge had fallen in, and sure enough, it had. And then when they rebuilt, they didn't put it on Kansas Avenue. Did that impact the whole district here? Oh, yes. Um, yes, because... Uh, this used to be a very busy, busy. Farmers came to town on Saturday night. Sometimes they'd bring their children to the 
to the uh, theater to watch the movies. And then the parents would go to the tavern and have a few beers while the movie was going on. Mm -hmm. 